What's up guys, welcome back to Chief's Chat. And it's finally time to make a video that frankly, I've been avoiding over the past couple of days, okay? I'm still a little bit sad um, about the way this last game uh, went down against the Denver Broncos. Um, 16 straight victories, okay? Let's not, you know, let, let's not talk about the fact that the streak was snapped. Let's, let's just appreciate the streak for what it was. I mean, that is an incredible accomplishment. Um, 16 straight games, man. The last time, uh, of course, before this past Sunday, that the Broncos beat the Chiefs. I mean, I was, goodness. I mean, how old was I? I don't even know. It was seven years ago. Uh, so I was 13. You know, 13 years old, that's insane. Um, how long we have been dominating this Broncos team. And unfortunately, it did come to an end. We knew it would at some point. Um, but here we are, man, you know? It has finally happened. The Broncos have finally beat us. Congratulations to you guys, you know? I do want to give you guys your props because, you know, at the end of the day, you guys scored more points than the Chiefs in an NFL football game. You know, that's a pretty nice accomplishment. Not a lot of teams can say that they've done that in recent history, but you know what? You guys are one of those teams. Congratulations. Um, and yeah, you know, it, it was just, it was just really sad. You know, I mean, it was just depressing. Uh, this was one of the more depressing games I think I've ever watched. Um, of course, you know, uh, it, it's been a while since we, we've seen uh, Patrick Mahomes lose by this many points. Um, but just, I mean, it, it just feel like it, it, it felt like it kind of went beyond that as well. You know, aside from the score, it just seemed like, you know, of course the news came out, Patrick Mahomes wasn't feeling great. Um, and then of course we're playing in Denver. It's, it, it's a little bit snowy. It's really, really cold. Um, I don't know, man. They're, they're just, uh, there were a lot of storylines going into this game that, that just didn't feel great. Um, Travis Kelsey being at the World Series and, and, and you know, the, everybody questioning whether or not he's a good leader on this football team. A lot of people, um, you know, were, were bringing up these storylines before this game. Wasn't really making me feel too great about it. And it might have it had an impact on the team. I mean, we, we just didn't really play like we usually do. You know, and it's happened with, with you know, so many teams in the NFL, including the Chiefs, it happens from, you know, every once in a while. Uh, the better teams in the league, they will drop a game just because we're not on the same page, man. You know, we're just not there. Um, it happened most recently against the Tennessee Titans a couple of years ago when we lost pretty badly to them. Um, but yeah, man, this was just one of those games. Really, really upsetting. And I could point fingers. I could say, oh, Sky Moore dropped that touchdown. Oh my gosh, Michael Harden dropped that punt. Uh, Rasheed Rice had a couple of drops. I could point fingers. I could, I could play the blame game all day. Okay, but at the end, of the, at the end of the day, when when I take a look at the way that this game transpired, yes, it was disappointing. Yes, it was sad. But am I worried about this Chiefs team? Not at all. Okay, not even a little bit. You know, we're still sitting at the top of the AFC, six and two record. And next week against the Miami Dolphins, man, we've got a chance to come out and, and, and really leapfrog over them, which would be a huge game for us. Um, so we just got to get our minds right. We got to get back in rhythm. Um, and, and I'm not worried about this team, man. Patrick Mahomes, I, I still saw him out there making plays. I um, mean, let's not forget that he had 270 yards, which is really good. Um, maybe not so great for Patrick Mahomes' standard, but 270 yards for his starting quarterback is, is just fantastic. You'll take that any given day. Um, and any time that you turn the ball over that many times, um, and any time that you struggle as much as the Chiefs did on third down, particularly in the red zone, um, you're just not going to win the game. It's, it's just not going to happen, okay? Uh, it, it, it's just going to be a loss. And it just seems like every time the Chiefs lose, that's that's the case. You know, it's just, it's a bunch of turnovers, a bunch of just weird stuff happens, and, you know, things just don't go your way. And I feel like I realized something about myself after this game against the Broncos. I, I just feel like I've forgotten what it's like to be the fan of a bad football team. Because I just remember watching that game against the Broncos. I remember late in the fourth quarter, we're struggling to do anything on offense. We're struggling to stop them on defense. Uh, and I just wanted to turn the game off. Like, I just, I didn't want to watch. Um, and, and that is not a feeling uh, that I've had in, in so long. I mean, when the Chiefs are on, I want to watch. Um, and the Chiefs are always, you know, they're, they're either always blowing a, a team out or they're making it a close game. So, you know, it's worth watching. But, I mean, I, I was just sitting there like, I, I just, let's turn the TV off, man. I'm done. Um, 
I mean, it's just, it was a weird feeling. It was a really weird feeling. Um, and it is not something that I've experienced in a long time. I mean, the last time the Chiefs weren't uh, at least, you know, or the last time the Chiefs weren't over 500 uh, was, I believe, 2013 or 2012, actually. And, uh, you know, I was I was nine. I was nine years old. Um, so, yeah, you know, back then I, I didn't even know. I probably didn't even know what a left tackle was. You know, I probably didn't even know uh, what a linebacker is supposed to do, you know. Um, so, pfft. I mean, realistically, and, and, and probably uh, it, it, probably accurate to say that I've never truly experienced uh, being a fan of a bad NFL team. Uh, so, you know, I have a lot of respect for you uh, Texans fans, uh, Jets fans, you know, those guys out there. Uh, shout out to you guys, because it's not easy. Not easy at all. I've experienced it uh, for one game here against the Broncos. Uh, and I wanted to cry, you know, I really did want to cry. Um, but you know, we're gonna be fine, you know, we're the Chiefs. We're gonna get back on track and we are going to play like the team that we've always been. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next Chiefs chat.